Hello, let's continue another instructional video. This is very fun because now I have more time to make this video. So first I want to reduce the light because I don't like, like much light coming from the window. It is harder to aim if there's too much light from the window. So this is better. This is like in the pool hall, dark on the sides of the table and bright on the table. So let's begin. Here we want to make the two ball in that corner packet. But look at this. How do we get there? We can go one rail and between these balls to come here. That is quite risky because you might hit either of the two balls. So what I rather do is I avoid those altogether. I will go one rail, I will come up this, this path here, avoid all the balls here. The sixth ball, you can't really hit the sixth ball when coming from this angle because you need so much side spin that it, it is unlikely that you will hit the sixth ball. If you hit the two ball, you are still okay, you still have a shot, so that is not, nothing to worry about. So let's begin. A lot of right spin, hit this rail and come up. Maybe you stop there, maybe you hit this third rail and come here. Maybe you go far and up here. You are, you are, you are still okay, no matter what happens. Okay, so let's do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we, are, we have a good shot on the two ball now. Yep. That went well. We avoided uh, hitting those balls, so I'm satisfied, except for the, that the cue was too close to the rail, so my cue, my cue hits the wall here. I can't throw properly. I will, I will move it forward like this. You often see many beginners do that if the cue ball is frozen against the rail. <laughs> I will do that so we can continue, otherwise I would probably miss the shot. So here I want, uh, if I have this angle, I really need to be, on the four ball, I want to be on this side of the four to come to the five, yeah? But if you have too much angle here and you attempt position for the four ball, you might scratch in the side, so we don't want that. To avoid the scratch, many people hit the rail on, on that side of the, of the side pocket, they come too short, they have this angle on the four ball, it is tough to get to the five ball later. Yeah. So you rather want to be a straight in on the three ball and draw it back here. But uh, I just don't like that uh, that alternative there. I don't like that. Many things can go wrong. So I will probably play position here to this to this angle on the three ball by shooting the two in the corner, play one and two rails stopping somewhere here. Is that good? If you are straight in, straight in you can still, still throw it back for the four. This is a really tough, tough uh, position. I think uh, if you go here with the cue ball, position for the three ball, I think that is a safe place. Because if you are on, on uh, this side of the three ball, you have a good angle to come here with the cue ball for the four. If you have this angle, you can still play three rails position around. Y yeah, that is, that is a good place. Yeah, so I will, I will do that. That is what I will do. I will play position there. I hit the rail there. And I am going to use, uh, you can use inside spin to stop the, to kill the cue ball so it doesn't go too far but that is quite difficult you can use I'm going to use pure draw here it is the easiest okay let's do that pure draw and with speed we ended up very good I'm very satisfied here here we can either draw it back stop here with the cue ball follow it a little bit but we might hit this four ball 
Ja, the four ball can be made in that corner pocket, yes. So if, if we hit the four ball thin, we still have a shot to make the four in that corner pocket. But if we hit the four ball thick, the four ball will go in front of the six ball and we don't want that. Is the four ball makeable in that corner pocket? Yes, it is. So therefore, I will play position to stop here with the cue ball. If the cue ball goes too far down, we can still make the four ball in that corner pocket. So that is the only reason I, I, I choose this shot. Because we have uh, an, an extra uh, an extra alternative there to make the four in the corner. Otherwise, I wouldn't choose this shot. So let's do that. I, I don't want to stop too short on the four here. That is a bad place. I want at least on this side of the four ball. So the four ball, the cue ball can go too far down and that is still okay. I still have a shot. So I focus that the cue ball will cross this line to come there. That is what you must do. So here I use a lot of jaw and shoot soft. Yeah, and now we hit the three ball too thin. So that's why the cue ball went too far down here. But we still have a shot on the four. So that went really well. Here you can either follow the cue ball with inside spin to come here to this side of the five or you can use little jaw to come up here for the five. Uh, it is difficult to, because sometimes you end up here with the cue ball that happens often if you draw it a little. If you follow it you might end up here in front of the nine and that's bad also. So there are so many many bad things can happen if you choose those uh, paths. So what I rather do is I go uh, two rails up here because this is a safe place for the cue ball. Now there is there is no risk for uh, getting snookered anywhere if, if we choose that path. And there is no risk that we might get too close to the five so we can't make the five then. But we, if we are here with the cue ball we can make the five. So let's do that. Here I use, uh, you don't want to use too much draw because otherwise you will uh, scratch in the corner. So you use less draw and more right spin. Okay, let's do that. More right spin and less draw. Yeah, like that. That is good. And we have a good shot on the five to come up for the six ball. That's very good. Very good now. So now we have a natural angle on the six ball to come to the uh, seven ball. And from the seven ball, we have a good shot on the, on the eight ball. If, if we make a stop shot here, we have this angle on the eight, so we can come up here from the, for the nine. Is that a good idea? Let's plan ahead. Yeah, this is a good, we can make the nine easily in the side pocket. But if we are here, then it becomes difficult. So we need to make sure to be on this side of the queue for the nine ball. That is where we want to be. So where do, I, where do we want to be on the eight ball then? Yeah, if we have this angle of the eight, we will go two rails and come into the angle here. That is the best choice because if we go only one rail, we might end up too short on the nine. So then we need we yeah we need more angle than this on the eight. So that's why after the seven we need to draw it back a bit. We, we will draw back the cue ball here for the eight. So after we make the six ball, we want to be able to draw back the cue ball a little bit. Okay. We don't want to too thin on the seven. No, we want anywhere in this area. You see, here many players want to play closer position to the 7, so if you want to play, be close to the 7, you need to stop the cue ball in this small area, you see, very small area. If you are further away, 
from the seven, you can play into this large area. You see, it becomes bigger and bigger the further away you get from the object ball. You see? So that's why many pros choose position further away from the next ball, somewhere here, in instead of being here, because this is very difficult to stop there. So we rather choose uh, to stop the cue ball here for the seven, and that's a very good, very, very easy shot to play position for the eight, so you can be further away. So let's do that. Now we need this angle on the six. So this is quite easy. Yeah. And now we play like we planned. Stop the cue ball somewhere here. Okay. Not too close to the seven. And whoops, and I missed it. I forgot to aim the six ball. Forgot to make the six. I was looking at this spot the entire time. So first, okay. Look, uh, pr plan, plan ahead. Here I want to stop the cue ball in. Okay, so what kind of spin do I need? Here I need right spin, little draw, maybe 10%. And then go up again. You have you have decided the spin you need, and then go down, and then aim to make a six ball. Okay. Now I aim to make the six. The spin is already decided, so I aim to make the six ball. Yeah. So now we made it. Okay. So now that was good. Always make sure to make the ball. Always, always make sure of that. So now we will draw back the cue ball a little bit. Here, here I prefer to draw it in front of the side pocket because then you can, you can hit the bottom part of the cue ball easier if, compared to if it was here instead because then you need to shoot like this, jacked up. But if the cue ball is in front of the side pocket, you can hit the, hit the bottom part of the cue ball easier. And that is something many, I have seen many pros do. They, play, they draw it back to stop in front of the side pocket because then they can stroke it easier. So here I will just draw it back. I want it to stop in front of the side pocket. Not quite, not quite, but we are still okay. So I need to check out my, check out my cue again. Okay, so I'm gonna sheet a bit, move it forwards. My wall is in the way, as you can hear. Okay, so I now we will do like I planned. One rail, two rails come into the angle for the nine. And then we, I think we will win the game then. Here I use a left spin, little, not too much top spin because otherwise we will end up here. And that is not good. Not too much draw either because then we might end up here. So we need to fine tune it properly. Mostly left spin on this shot. Mostly left spin. <laughs> yeah, we we are almost frozen to the rail, but we have the angle, and that is the most important thing to have the angle. I will move stuff here because it is in a way of my stroke. So now we can just roll in the nine ball, and that is what we wanted. Easy to roll it in to get natural position for the ten ball, but being so close to the rails makes it tougher. Tougher. So I will do it, okay. Yeah, and now we have an easy, easy shot on the 10. And that is how we planned ahead. And whoops, I was a little, little rushed there. So that is uh, how we planned ahead. So you can run the rack, even if your stroke isn't that good. So you can run the rack if you plan ahead properly. And that is a way how to win many many matches if you are not a good player you not have good position play not good aiming you can still win if you plan ahead and think think of all the possibilities how to make it as easy as possible later in the game like with the nine ball we were already planned ahead that we wanted that kind of angle to come to the ten ball okay so that's the end of my video subscribe to my channel check out my patreon the link is below, click on it and support me. And I can make more of these instructional videos then. 
So goodbye.